So this uh, this black one here was the uh, last one that I got late last year. And it's probably the last one I'll get for a while, uh, unless I grab one from China. But anyway, uh, where did it come from? This guy came from the stratosphere and the tip or the dump. Anyway, the first part, the neck, the, uh, the body, all came from uh, the stratosphere. Uh, I picked this guy up in the um, Fender Blacktop section, which is a Mexican-made uh, body with a big bathtub pick, uh, pick up routing section in there. And this neck, uh, I'm pretty sure, was from the pawn shop uh, section and it had an extra fret. It has the bullet truss rod, which is unusual, for, to combine with, I think it's a 9.5 uh, radius. So it's a little bit different to play uh, with the, as no doubt some of you realize, with the maple neck and the uh, lacquer, it seems to give a, a certain sustain and a brilliance to them. Well, at least to my two, as opposed to the the other rosewood guitars. So it's come from the stratosphere. I recommend the stratosphere, especially when the Aussie dollar is high. It's tolerable at the moment, but um, we need a little bit more than 10% to be uh, persuaded to go and buy stuff from there, or even to encourage a student to do that. But no doubt someone in some music store will be ringing Fender now and seeing if they can get that uh, struck off the list as an option for anyone who would like to get a cheaper guitar. What have I actually done to the guitar? That's the next question. Well, the loaded pickup or pick guard came from the Sunburst Strat. Now, this is an experience. I was jamming with a friend in town, in Nara, and I took along a young student who was really progressing well. I got some old squires from a friend from garage sales, as a lot of that sort of stuff goes on down here. And I cleaned them up and, and sold them on. Anyway, we both went in and I plugged him into my amp and he had a bit of a jam. I couldn't get over the excellent drive and, and distortion he was getting compared to my uh, sunburst strat. I thought, I looked into it anyway, there was a tutorial or something that came on the on YouTube that explained about uh, ceramic uh, magnets and so forth, and El Nico and all that sort of thing. And once I realised, ah, so it's the ceramic, I looked on the stratosphere to see if I could find any. And to be sure, you can get uh, the ceramic backed strips glued on the back of the, the on the other end of the pickup uh, in the Mexicans. And I realised that the original strat that I had, uh, the white one with the small headstock in the early videos, that had those pickups in it. And I thought, boy, that's a good sound because I'm, I'm, I like the, the brilliant buddy guy sort of sound, but I don't mind having a bit of drive as well rather than have to boost the amp. Not that you really have to do that with the angle too much anyway. So these pickups here are not the standard uh, classic 70s Strat made in Mexico version. These are from the tip, from a Freedom guitar that was sold uh, from a company in town called Aldi. Now, a student turned up with his mum and had this guitar with a warp neck, so I offered to barter some lessons for um, the guitar, and then I put the, had a look to see if the pickups had those, um, uh, those particular strips on the back, and saw that they did. They did have the ceramic magnets. And so I put them in and instantly I got that little bit extra boost. Horrible Chinese pickups they are. But this is what's being used in Fiddly D in 
uh, still I'm sad, that's the, the standard Mexican uh, windings for the 70s uh, strats. Okay, so that's the story behind that. So, Chinese pickups with just a normal 70s strat pick garden pots and so forth, which I'm happy with. Now, uh, what have I done to it? I've done that, scalloped it, taken a little bit of uh, the gloss off the back so that my hand doesn't get stuck all the time, which it probably needs another shot at. And that's a, that'd be about it for the guitar. It's probably being black. You only ever buy one black car. <laughs> I have, and never again, but I've got two black guitars, as you know. So that's, uh, oh, and the evidence that it is nothing is on the back. I say nothing, but it doesn't mean that to me, but a lot of people think that Mexican is nothing. <laughs> All right, so now, that's the black strat. So if you have any other questions about this, uh, just just ask them. Just a little just a little bit more on that point of how it plays. Um, once again, because it's got a different style fretboard and so forth, uh, it does have a U-shaped neck, which I like the U's because of this factor. You can whack your thumb up the top here and you can play chords like that, where I used to 13 or so, 15 years ago, I used to play like that all the time with this wrist change. So I'd rather play that, which is really the classic blues, jazz, classic rock style of, of playing chords, from what I can understand. So as it plays, yeah, really easy to play, uh, pretty low action, probably needs a little bit of adjustment, as with the weather it tends to carry on. But that's okay, that's no big deal. Uh, we'll give it a bit of a fiddle and, and have it uh, sorted out for the next one. So there it is, that's the, um, the black Mexican strat from the stratosphere and a little bit from the tip.